Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. I have played a lot of alts in World of Warcraft Dragonflight because I'm doing all professions. And in this video, I'm going to show you the eight things that you need to know when you bring your alts to Dragonflight. The very first thing I highly, highly recommend getting to Renown 20 on all of the main factions in the Dragon Isles with your main, because once you hit Renown 20, you're going to get 200% reputation bonus on your alts up to Renown 10 and 100% up to Renown 20. And that is going to make those Renown levels just fly by. And even though many of the things are account wide, there's still a bunch of stuff that you want to unlock from those, specifically for each character, especially if you're doing any crafting professions, because a bunch of recipes are unlocked behind Renown. So that's the first thing already before you even make an alt. The second thing is that when you have your alt and you're headed towards Dragon Isles, as soon as you unlock Dragon Isles summary, Go to your dragon riding skills and unlocks because dragon riding skill points are account wide. You only need to pick up the glyphs once and they're already there for your alt. So just go there. You need to assign the points. The points are unassigned on all of your alts. Assign the points and dragon riding mounts are already in your collection. So you can go to your collection and grab your dragon riding mount. Then when you take the boat to dragon isles, as soon as you arrive, you can just fly off. You don't have to care about the quests at all. You're just ready to go. And when you have arrived at Dragon Isles, there are three really important skips that you want to make. First of all, there's Dragon Shards. Dragon Shards skip is available already at level 60 if you have any Dragon Isles profession. It's unlocked in Waking Shores at the Ruby Life Shrine. Hephaestus is there and Hephaestus offers you this option. I have worked with the Artisans Consortium before and met Kadeen. Skip some Artisans Consortium quests, Kadeen will be unlocked, you will also gain the reputation and you will gain the Dragon Shards of Knowledge. And this will unlock the ability to gain random Dragon Shards of Knowledge for your character, so it's super important. This is one of the first things you want to do when you arrive at Dragon Isles. And another skip that you want to use immediately is the one for Sparks of Ingenuity. This one is in Valdraken. You are going to get all five sparks that you get from the questline immediately when you do this. But if you have started the questline, you can no longer do this. So really do this immediately. Get your sparks and have them ready to go. Sure, you can't actually use them until you're 70, but that's totally fine. And the third important skip. Third important skip enables the Obsidian Throne. It's available at level 68, even if you have not done the Waking Shores questline. You just go to Obsidian Boulevard and Kalendormu has appeared there once you have reached level 68. And then you can say to Kalendormu, hey, take me to Obsidian Throne so that I may help there immediately. It skips that part of the questline, gives you the achievement for it, and you can just start doing Obsidian Throne. Of course, you can also do the Waking Shores questline if that's what you prefer. If you've already started the Obsidian Bulwark part of the Waking Shores questline, the skip is no longer available. And despite all of those skips, the campaign is actually really, really good. Waking Shores is the least important one because you have that skip that sets the Obsidian Throne in order, but I do recommend doing the main questline in On Iron Plains, in Azure Span, and in Taldrassus. Because once you do those, there's a bunch of NPCs in each of those areas that move to different sections. And it can get really confusing if you have done the quest lines with some of the characters and haven't done them with others, because then the NPCs are in different places, and some of the quest lines are also broken if you haven't done this. For example, currently the Valdraken Accord Reno 19 quest line cannot be completed unless you have done on our own planes so that the Centaur have already helped the green dragons, because the NPCs just aren't aren't where they're supposed to be. In Azure Span, the questline affects especially the area of the Azure Archives, making the mobs there non-hostile, and also the Iskarotaskar village, in which lots of NPCs are in different places and a lot of quests open up once you've done the main quest line. In Taldrassus, the main part is the Chromi part, the Bronze Dragonflight part, which affects the zone where the Bronze Dragonflight resides. When you have your renown bonuses in place, the campaign is also going to give you tons of reputation. So in that regard, it's also really useful to do. When you bring an alt to Dragonflight, the weekly content is also available to you immediately. You can immediately start doing Siege on Dragon Bane Keep, the Shikar Grand Hunt, and the Iskar Tuskar Feasts. All of these are available at level 60. Some of them may not show up on the map, at least Siege and Dragon Pain Keep has not showed up on the map previously. And the Siege mobs, it's pretty hilarious actually, they don't scale, they remain level 70. So if you go there very early, then just try to go at mainstream times when there's a lot of people there, and you don't have to do much, and you just 
hang along with the crowd and get it done. Also, aiding the Accord weekly quest in Taldrassus is available immediately, and knowledge point weeklies are available immediately for professions. So for professions, knowledge points are heavily gated, and the weeklies include the quests, and they include knowledge point drops from specific minions, and they include knowledge point drops from Disturbed Dirt and Scout Expeditions packs. You need to level up your professions a little bit to 25 to 50 in order to get all of those available, but you can do that already on level 60. And as you're leveling up, depending on the gear that your character has, you're going to start getting Titan Training Matrices from level 64. And Titan Training Matrix level 1 is going to set gear to item level 343, soul bound, and level requirement 64. And you can actually send crafting orders with these, so that you will be able to get level 343 gear already on level 64. There are four arm slots where you can get this, there's a ring, and there's a neck. So you can get some gear improvements so that playing will be a little bit easier, depending on what gear your character already had. Most of the world quests are unlocked account-wide, and you can start doing them immediately when you arrive at Dragon Eyes with your alt, but there are some exceptions. The most notable one is the Field of Ferocity. Field of Ferocity, you need to do the arena fights in order to unlock the bi-weekly world quest. And this world quest is really, really worth unlocking, because it can give you Dragon Shards of Knowledge, and give you epic gear, it can give you like 1247 gold, uh, all that just for going there and killing one boss. So that's pretty easy, pretty fast and something you really want to get done as your character gains some levels. Finally, as you're approaching level 70 and you want to get some of your crafted gear together, you have your sparks from the spark skip, but as an alt, you probably don't have Primal Chaos that all of those recipes require. So Primal Chaos can be transferred to alts now. It's at Rabul in Valdraken. There is a 25% tax though. You have to pay 80 Primal Chaos in order to get a satchel that can be opened for 60 Primal Chaos. But that's still a way to transfer some Primal Chaos from your main to your alts so that they can get some gear crafted as soon as they hit level 70. And armed with this information, you can make the most of your alts in World of Warcraft Dragonflight. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.